Hello, everybody, and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. Some very big news. SA Rugby are set to meet on the 17th of October to make a final decision on whether or not they will accept a proposed deal on private equity investment, which will see SA Rugby sell a portion of um, the Springboks sort of commercial side of things uh, to a private equity firm uh, as and uh, as a way to sort of uh, raise money and uh, get a big investment into the Springbok brand. This is not something new. We've known for a while that American Corporation um, is, uh, or American, a couple of different ones, are, are looking at potentially investing in SA Rugby. And uh, apparently now a special general council meeting will take place where all the different members and unions and stuff will vote on the decision whether or not this will go through. Before we go uh, into detail about this, please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Right, so um, it says uh, the following. It says the membership of the South African Rugby Union will be given up the opportunity to determine the sport's commercial future later this month. It says that a special general council of the 14 full member unions has been scheduled for Thursday, 17th of October, at which a formal offer is planned to be presented for consideration. If the proposal receives a 75% majority of the voting membership, it will trigger the conclusion of an agreement for a private equity company to invest into a newly established company to hold the commercial rights of SA Rugby. So at the moment, SA Rugby is sort of one entity. They will start a new company, which will be like, I don't know, SA Rugby business or whatever. And that'll be the commercial rights of SA Rugby. Not sort of the playing rights, not the sort of the union stuff like that, but the commercialization of SA Rugby. And that is what a stake is going to be sold for. Um, the private investors will take up a 20% stake in that SA Rugby commercial rights company, which will manage and be responsible for sponsorship, broadcasting, eventing, branding, and licensing aspects of the sport. So everything that's money related, basically, that'll go into this um, new sort of commercial company. It says that uh, the SGC will be the culmination of months of intense works behind the scenes since the Ackley Sports Group uh, were chosen as the preferred bidder by SARS membership in December 2023. Um, so they are, in terms of who the Ackley Group, we'll talk about in, in, in a second. Uh, speaking about it, uh, Rian Oberholzer said, we are pleased to have arrived at this point and believe we will be able to take an offer to our members that makes commercial and business sense. This is a watershed moment for rugby in South Africa as we attempt to globalize the Springbok brand in the way that our peers in New Zealand have. Private investment will bring financial security as well as the capital investment and global experience and networks to enhance how we communicate, how we do things, how we interact with our stakeholders. Uh, apparently there have been a bunch of information sessions, for example, so people understand it, and this is going to be sort of the final moment. He says that private investment has taken place in several of our member unions and is commonplace in global sport. Our performance on the field have kept us near the front of the pack for several years, but we have been lagging off the field. This is our opportunity to catch up with our peers in the arena as well. Um, the Ackley Sports Group, there is a, uh, a, a very, very sort of short website, basically saying it was formed in 2023 by Christopher and Ted Ackley of Ackley Partners in Seattle, along with a London-based partner in Timothy Kirkwood. They basically they invest in uh, the sort of the sporting world. And, uh, you know, the big thing for them is that they are trying to obviously buy a big stake in this. So it's going to be interesting. It's not new news, but this could be the final decision, sort of the final moment of this. If it gets 75%, then this deal will take place and uh, we will see proud investment coming into SA Rugby. Again, the main thing, and I mean, look, the talks were it's 1.4 billion rand potentially. So it's big money. It is it is huge money. And if done correctly, this could be big for SA Rugby because you've got so many different projects they need to fund, like the, the professionalization of women's rugby, for example, the potential revamp of the junior structures. Um, we've got to try and uh, reinvigorate even, you know, the Curry Cup and your the Pumas and your, your Griffin and stuff like that. So financially, you know, we've, we've got to find the money. And uh, I think if this is done correctly, this could be a very, very good thing. But if done um, badly, it can be a bad thing. So, you know, we do need to be cautious about it. But overall, a a, a proper, um, you know, professional environment requires, requires investment. You know, this is a high-performance sport and high-performance arena requires money at the end of the day. You know, you want high-performance centers around the country for rugby. You want academies with the right funding. You want, as I said, the professionalization of women's rugby. You need to have a tier two, tier three uh you know different uh, women sort of setups for example you need to have all these women players be professionals and playing on a full-time basis we need 
you know, support for our varsities, maybe more bursaries, for example, get the Curry Cup, uh, the Curry Cup, the Varsity Cup and the Varsity Shield to even higher level. These are the type of things that hopefully this can try and fund. Are you in on the idea or are you a bit skeptical? Let me know down in the comments below. Smash the like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for uh, watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.